hello viewers welcome to my channel today i will be showing you how to cut a danshiki shirt like a pro without any delay it's less than five minutes to cut this so and make sure since the time is sure you watch carefully to the end of this video so i welcome you once again to audience fountains fashion where fashion tips are reviewed so if you haven't subscribed encourage me by subscribing and uh, like and share this video you can also turn on your notification in case you need our next lessons to reach you and uh, we'll do that let's just jump to the tutorial i am going to be imputing the chest measurement uh, you seen the line is 20 let me change my chalk the shoulder measurement from the shoulder measurement i will be marking my full length it could be any length at all so i'm using 34 for this one plus two inches folding allowance i will mark like that so just watch this video carefully because it'd be very very helpful so after marking that the only thing you need is the accurate measurement of a senator if you have a senator accurate measurement you can cut it and shake it shirt easily without any problem. So I'll impute the exact shoulder measurement without any allowance. I will join that point straight like that. Have you seen? Then I will impute the shoulder slant of the dress, shoulder slant of my client. Have you seen? Then I will come down by 12 inches if the person has a big boss or want it to be free, I will add extra one and a half inches down. Have you seen? So I need space, so I need a big opening there. I'll add extra one and a half inches. Then I'll mark if there's any fester, I'll mark the fester, the opening by the side. If there is none, then I will cut it straight like that. So I'll impute the boss measurement of the client. Divide by four, have you seen? Plus any allowance you want to keep because of the fabric I'm using is very small. I'm going to use one inches. Then I will impute my neck measurement. So the neck I'm talking about is 16. So I use two and a half. I mean two one quarter and a two and a half for the down. Then I will connect the neck to the shoulder measurement straight have you seen like this to that point so then i will impute the slip length from that place that shoulder end have you seen so now now connect it from that place i marked that is tra one inches i put there have you seen that's measurement post measurement divide by four plus one inches i marked there because this that check is going to have a turning i will put a little facing at that armhole then i'll cut it out if you find this tutorial helpful just uh, encourage me by subscribing to this channel if you haven't subscribed and as well as encouraging me by smashing the like button that is you have to give it a thumbs up and share this video now for your own good if you wish we notify you each time we upload a new video you turn on the notification we we'll always do so i will be placing the front bodies like this so and I will mark three and a half inches up then I'll connect it straight and I'll cut it out like this so how you fold it to cut the neck is very very important we don't want you to miss have you seen you have to bend it like this and you cut it out so
So are you seeing? So that is the shape of a danshiki. And now there is a line you saw at the the, the front side of this dress. The line can be cut all together with this while you are cutting but we weren't having enough fabric to do that so we are going to cut extra materials to replace that chest line down there so the neck is just what i cut and it's bias and the, the pocket pieces everything is really set everything then check our video if you want to know how to make the easy sewing that is less than five minutes again we give quick tutorials that are very helpful stay tuned and see you in our next video